Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggie and it's a shareful day because it's time to announce that it's snowing outside despite many people thinking that it wouldn't today for some reason it's snowing but that's not entirely relevant, Cats in the Snow is in fact over but we have been gifted a Picataro collab bonus of 50 cat food for I believe 30,000 shares, there you go, 50 cat food for that, lovely, that's a nice amount of cat food and so hopefully we should be getting something else, Chilola has told me. So we get three cat tickets for 50,000 shares. Well, that is good news. Thank you for that. Next, we have a rare cat ticket for 80,000 shares. That's excellent. And I think we know what's coming now. For 100,000 shares, we get the limited edition cat, CPAC. Oh, this is going to be fun. The nice background of orange to show how... Truly special the event is, so I assume this box of messaging will now tell us some important things. No, okay, maybe not then. But, there's new in the upgrade, which means that we can find our CPAC cat, and it is in the special category, so we'll go to the end, have a look for it. It is in fact just before the little cats here, CPAC in glorious colour. CPAC equals just a couple of cat bros dropping in from a YouTube video campaign. How unsubtle, Ponos. Thank you. So this is our CPAC cat. A cat, a, an apple, a pineapple, and a cat. Unless you read it from left to right, which I guess you could do, but that's not what I traditionally do. But anyway, we're going to acquire the unit, and it looks like, yep, yeah, it's pretty cheap to upgrade, so we'll see what we get when we get it to level 10. And it is PPAP. Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. Of course. A couple of trendy YouTuber cats joining in on the party. Oh, that's good. So now the name completely negates any part of the cat collab in it. That should be interesting. Well, I guess to pump our user rank and for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to upgrade this all the way to level 30. It is incredibly cheap for when you're in higher level. When you're lower level, I'd say refrain from upgrading this cat much past level 10. But once you've got loads of XP and you want to boost your user rank, it'll be a useful thing for that. So, let's press the down arrow and check what it's good against. So, it is good against red and it has a strong against and it has a single attack. So this is, if I'm correct and I'm not mistaking it for not a single attack, basically an island cat. So yeah, it basically is an island cat except without the chance to do a critical attack. But the criticals, to be honest, they're not that often on the island cat. But I have a sneaking suspicion that CPAC won't be quite as good as Island Cat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring CPAC into the Cat Claw Dojo to just look at it. Animation, tack animation, stuff like that. And then we'll be putting it into a formidable battle. So here we are in the Cat Claw Dojo accompanied by the fabulously furious flurry of music. And here is the PPAP. Some fruit horrendously held together oh, oh, by some pens and what? Let's have a look at that attack animation. <laughs> it spells out PPAP and then hits the enemy. That's intriguing. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. That That's nice to know. I mean, wow, that, that's definitely something. That's an interesting way to make an attack animation. Not like they both grab their respective pieces of fruit and bash the enemies. No, it spells out the word PPAP and then decides to wreck you. That's really strange. So it didn't survive a hit from the base, but nor do most of my cats. So I'm not sure this would be a great gauge. Also, I have a team of two on, so they'll have some buffs from the cat combo anyway. But this is mainly to see how hilariously strange the attack animation is. What I really like about the cat, the visuals itself, is the range of colour. You have the white cats, sort of greyish pens, the red apple with its shine, and then the colourful pineapple. I mean, I think the attack animation is questionable. I mean, it, it does seem to love to remind you about what collab has just been going on, although it may not have been such a massively successful collab. Didn't get to meme heights of what the previous thing did, you know, I guess Ponos are pretty proud of themselves for getting Picataro, and it was a nice collab, and we've got a cat out of it, with a certainly interesting attack animation. But now, what we're going to do is bring it into a level, a proper level, to gauge how good it is. 
And yes, I know there are one horns. That might be a good test, but they're pretty weak in the Capital Dojo. I think these guys deserve a challenge. So I'm here at two star Gandara's Rest, a level that I am randomly at, having finished the first star of Silk Road and having looked it up on the internet. It's actually a level which could be quite relevant to the cat we're going to use. So what it consists of is a sloth, we're not too worried about that, and a shy boy slash shy boys. The useful thing about that is that our cat is strong against reds, but it's single attack, which will be good against a shy boy. Unfortunately, there are loads of snatches and ginger snatches, if I remember correctly, which is why in my slot, I've brought with me lots of splash damage, that being the crazy UFO, I'm doing that rather than manic flying so it doesn't do as much damage and I think it attacks quicker, it might do. UFO cat, again same reason for attack. And then little UFO, and apparently Picotaro's area attack, which I forgot about, so he'll be there. We also have manic lion to deal with any errant snatches. We have some basic cat spam, then we also have PPAP, and metal macho, which I've grown to quite like over the icy desire stage, to soak up some damage if need be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the level with this and see just how well we can do with this cat. It should be interesting. Should be very interesting indeed. I feel like we might lose, but there you go. So I made a slight editation to the battle slot. I brought a ruin along just in case the strat starts to fail and then I can actually make something of this and still beat the level. But for all intents and purposes, we won't be using it. So what we're gonna be trying to do is winning the level with PPAP here as our main attacker. So it hasn't started off well. They can't seem to be able to defeat Ginger Snatches very quickly, but it's evident that the recharge time on them is very small. In fact, same recharge speed as the other cat spam units. So at the moment, we can build up a massive stack of them and hopefully they'll be pretty good against Shy Boy before he inevitably wrecks all of them. But the flurry of fruit does look quite impressive. So I guess we'll just keep going like this and wait for the Shy Boy to come out in all his glory and probably destroy us completely. So there's a the sloth. Shy Boy to be appearing soon. Hopefully the sloth won't do too much to us. We've reached our deploy limit there, so we couldn't do anything for a while anyway. But as you can see, there's a lot of snatches, so we're going to break out our UFOs as soon as we can. But we're once again at the deploy limit. Well, we're definitely not now, game. Thank you very much. Right, okay. Time to break into getting ourselves loads of PPAP cats. This should be really fun. I'm, I'm hoping that it will go well. The sloth's going to sort of wreck us, and he did that at a really inopportune time because... Now loads of my stuff died, but hopefully now, with splash damage and all that other wonderful stuff, we can get to- Oh my days! Picotaro just procced! He stopped Shy Boy! <laughs> that was- that was quite impressive. I haven't seen him actually do that before. And he survived a hit. Well, that- that's quite something. That's good. Anyway, we'll get together some more splash damage and then keep going with our fruit flurry. It's great, there's so many of them. I really like that. And hopefully, because they're strong against red, they'll actually do some damage to the shy boys. But I fear that they might be hitting the snatches instead. But that is, again, why we have the splash damage coming along with us. So, what can I really say? Well, these fruity fellows seem to be holding up relatively decently for such a cheap and small recharge time unit. They don't seem to be making too much of an effect, but then again, they're not dying instantly, they're not completely useless, and they are a nice bit of colour on the battlefield. I, I do like having them there, and, well, their attack animation certainly is interesting. I don't know if that hit there really knocked back the Shy Boy, or whether it was the crazed UFO, I'm not too sure. In fact, they might be doing all the damage themselves, there's no real way of knowing. But I like to think that our PPAP cats are really making a difference in this battle, even though they might not be. I mean, it, it is quite doubtful as to whether they are actually having a brilliant effect. There's two shy boys at once there. One of them now is gone, which is good. So we're back to basically where we were. And I don't know if we'll be able to advance just having cats bound like this, because they're advancing on us, which is rather worrying. I'm concerned that these... PPAP cats might not be quite the best, so I'm going to get us an Aruran just to make sure because the situation is looking rather dangerous, shall we say. Yeah, I, I, I think it is looking quite dangerous, right? Oh dear. <laughs> Shy Boy's getting pretty close now. Too close for comfort, mate. Can you, can you not? 
Can you let the PPAP guys shine and do all their brilliant, brilliant attacking? Because I know you can with your pineapple and your apple and your your genius, your brilliant way of attacking things. Aurora's being a boss here though, just sticking around, wrecking the shy boys now and then. But then it gets wrecked itself as it always does behind the base. This is a recipe for failure already and that isn't good at all. I feel like our PPAP cats have not succeeded in many ways and that's the base about to be gone. So I can conclude that they're not very useful. Single target attack, just strong against reds, a lot rechargeable, maybe it's a sort of maximum the fighter, but I'd, I'd wager the maximum the fighter's a lot better of a cat even though it has a longer recharge time. Maybe someone will find a use for these. I think it's better than Picataro, that's for sure. Both of them have comedic ways of attacking, and I like the way that they're designed. But I think we can safely consign both of them to the failure books. I'll be interested to see what you think about them. And now for the final aspect of this event, possibly better than the cat itself, or at least better than it is at doing levels. It's a novelty to have it. But now we can open cat capsules and rewards that we've got. So we can go to the menu, to our cat guide, and because we have a new cat in the special section, we can claim five cat food for it. And there you go, CPAC and PPAP, having a jolly little time of it. Next, we can claim the four cat capsules, but I'll just do that in my own time because really not going to get too much that's interesting. It'll either probably be something to trade in towards a rare cat ticket or something that I've already maxed out and not the things that I really need, like Gross Cat and Titan Cat. But we will get ourselves a rare cat ticket. So we have Red Busters on at the moment and there's an increasing bonus draw, but to get to the guaranteed Uber you need like over 2,000 cat food, which isn't going to be possible to get by the time this event's over. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use our rare ticket and see what we get. So here we go, rare ticket, Uber hype, here we go, here we go. Let's see, let's see what we get. Oh, oh mate, Professor Cat Jobs. No, that's actually decent. Right, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Hope you enjoy. 